Is it time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 7th of May, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 15th, 2024, our system has ranked Meta as a sell candidate, giving it a score of negative 1.28. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of negative 6.40%. This translates to an average loss of negative 0.38% per day since it was listed as a sell candidate. The stock is moving within a wide and horizontal trend, and further movements within this trend can be expected. The current three-month trend suggests a potential negative 1.96% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 10.12% and 9.62%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 91.72% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 74.66% and 125.37%. This translates to a price range of $817.82 to $1,055.29 after a year. Our latest daily update for Meta includes the headline, Meta stock price up 0.550% on Tuesday. The Meta stock price gained 0.550% on the last trading day, Tuesday, 7th of May, 2024, rising from $465.68 to $468.24. It has now gained five days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 2.22% from a day low at $461.31 to a day high of $471.53. The price has risen in six of the last 10 days, but is still down by negative 5.62% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by negative 2 million shares, and in total, 13 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6 billion to $100 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $20.85 and the lowest price was $16.32. Currently, the price is negative 2,145.76%, or negative $447.39 below the 52-week high of $20.85, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, May 1, 2024, it was reported that Loop Capital Markets gave Meta a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, April 25, 2024, it was reported that Deutsche Bank gave Meta a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, April 25, 2024, it was reported that KeyBank gave Meta a overweight grade with a hold action. On Thursday, April 25, 2024, it was reported that UBS gave Meta a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, April 25, 2024, it was reported that Raymond James gave Meta a strong buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Meta stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating.
The following signals have been identified for Meta. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Meta stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, there is a general sell signal in the stock, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $488.14. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $447.08. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, April 30, 2024, and so far it has risen 8.85%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price, and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, buy signal six days ago, Bollinger, buy signal seven days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal four days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 13 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 18 days ago, the long-term moving average, buy signal 5 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Meta On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $443.29 and $441.38. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Meta finds support just below today's level at $443.29. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $441.38, and $432.62. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $10.22 between high and low, or 2.22%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.07%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Meta, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal PE ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2024 is expected on July 24. 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $4.66. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Meta. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Meta is at $484.03. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Meta encounters its first support level at $443.29. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On 2024, April 30th, Newstead Jennifer conducted an insider sell of 585 shares of Class A common stock. On 2024, 
April 26, Alfred Peggy conducted an insider sell of 928 shares of Class A common stock. On 2024, April 26, Alfred Peggy conducted an insider sell of 237 shares of Class A common stock. On 2024, April 26, Oliver Javier conducted an insider sell of 490 shares of Class A common stock. On 2024, April 23rd, Newstead Jennifer conducted an insider sell of 585 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 29.669. Overall, insiders purchased 204,233 shares and sold 378,934 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock, and no stop loss has been set. Is Meta stock a good buy? Meta holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative valuation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, May 8th, we expect Meta to open down negative $1.21 and start trading at $467.03. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.